What's up, fourth graders? This lesson is on kilometers, meters, and centimeters. All right, let's get it cracking. These units of measurement are, are part of what we call the metric system, all right? One meter, which will be seen as one M sometimes, is equal to a hundred centimeters. Centimeters will be written with a little CM sometimes when you see it. Centimeters are a smaller unit of measurement. Normal size paper is about 20 centimeters wide, 28 centimeters long. A basketball is about 25 centimeters wide. And a stapler, most staplers are 10 to 15 centimeters long. So what are some common things that we measure in meters? Well, a soccer field or a football field is about 100 meters long and 50 meters wide. So there's some reference points, 100 meters, all right? A tall building, the tallest building in Canton is 58 meters tall. Mountains are usually measured in meters. The tallest mountain, Mount Everest, is 8,848 meters tall. And we usually measure ocean depth in meters. Here's a picture showing all the different ocean depths. The deepest part of the ocean is about 11,000 meters deep. Now we measure long distances in kilometers. A kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. All right, so just to give you some reference point, 1,000 meters or one kilometer is the distance from the courthouse in downtown Canton to the library. So that's about one kilometer. The most common form of kilometer measurement is driving distances. All right, so from Canton to Akron is about 40 kilometers. That gives you a good idea of how many kilometers that is. And the Earth's crust is measured in kilometers. From the top of the Earth to the middle of the Earth is 6,000 kilometers. So to recap, centimeters are a smaller measurement. 100 centimeters gives you one meter, and 1,000 meters gives you one kilometer. So from smallest to biggest, you have centimeters to meters and then kilometers. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Created using Powtoon.